Hello, everyone, and welcome to the program. Some of the top stories are falling for you. The Code of Conduct Tribunal has convicted the suspended Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Walter Anagan, of allegations of false asset declaration. The CTT says he's guilty. And tonight, our spotlight comes on all your state as Governor Abiola Ajimovic steps down and show you making a warms up. What do you say of Ajimobi's two year e two terms in office and his government's performance. We we'll dissect that right here on the program. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on Channels Television. I'm Sean Kimaloya, Channels Television's global headquarters in Lagos, Nigeria. No dull moment ever on Politics Today right here as we bring you all some of the biggest news uh, stories in politics in Nigeria. The juiciest one for you tonight. We shall be taking you to all your state, southwest Nigeria. Interesting things are happening there and we hope that we will be able to touch on some of the very hard, the heart of the politics of that state. We'll be dissecting the issues relating to the performance of the incumbent governor, Abiola Ajumabi, and some of the issues raised at the aftermath of the 2019 elections. Let's now check out some other political stories we are following for you. Was a week, uh, so, uh, Coalition of civil societies have called on President Muhammad Buhari to assent to the Police Reform Act and the Police Trust Fund Bill. Speaking at a news conference in Abuja, the program officer of Sislak, Mr. Okeke Anya, says the passage of the bill will improve the service and operations of the Nigerian police. And now that the elections are over, it is time to focus on peace and development of River State. This was according to the River State Governor Yesom Wike when he received the delegation of the Governing Council of the State University in the Government House in Port Harcourt. According to him, although the call is not from the position of weakness, he believes the Olive Branch is an opportunity for politicians in the state to take advantage of the opportunity for reconciliation for the good of everyone. What we're asking for, let everybody, let's work together for the interest of the, of the state. President Muhammad Buhari has signed the bill approving 30,000 Naira as the new national minimum wage into law. The bill was passed by both chambers of the National Assembly before the general election, the House of Representatives in January and the Senate in March. However, presidential assent was still outstanding, prompting the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC to give the president until May the 1st to complete the signing. And the Young Progressives Party, YPP, held its 15th National Executive Committee meeting today in Abuja, adopting as part of its resolution the need for an urgent review of the country's electoral laws identified to be responsible for the nationwide irregularities and violence witnessed during the elections and called on President Muhammad Buhari, the incoming leadership of the 9th National Assembly and all relevant stakeholders to, as a matter of national emergency, embark on an all-inclusive electoral reform using the amended 2015 Electoral Act Bill as a foundation for this reform. The YPP NEC also called on President Muhammad Buhari and all security stakeholders to urgently review the current approach to security in the country through adequate investment in training and retraining, equipping and proper remuneration of the officers and men of the nation's security agencies. 